cost of electricity. Before we calculate the cost of electrical bill, uh, we need to have the unit of electrical energy. By the definition of power, P equals to E over T, and so E is equal to power times time. You can see that we calculate the electrical energy. It is a kind of energy, so the unit can be joule. But it is not convenient for us to measure electrical energy because, for example, for an uh, electrical heater with a power of 1,500 volts, which work for two hours, if we consider the joule, you will find that it is a very large value. So such a normal heater work in such a short period of time, we have a very large number. It is not convenient for us. So we'll use the kilowatt hour instead. Suppose you have learned it when you learn about heat already. And here is just some kind of reminder to help you to recall your memory. So instead of using joule, we use kilowatt hour. That means use the kilowatt for power and the hour for the time. When multiplied together, we can get the kilowatt hour, which is a unit for the electric power. So here is the conversion between the kilowatt hour and joule by multiplying the 1000 watt with 3600 seconds. Then we can get the joule. And if we want to change it back to kilowatt hour, it's just one over that number. Now, so one unit of electrical energy is equal to one kilowatt hour. So usually for our electrical bill, it will show us the total unit we use. And also it will tell us the cost of one unit. So it simply multiply the two numbers together, we can get the total cost of the electrical bill. Let's see an example here. We have an appliance of 200 watts and work for five minutes and we want to know the electricity cost. So firstly, we have to find the unit used. And by E equals to P times T, but we should note that instead of joule, we should use kilowatt hour. So we'll substitute the power as kilowatt. So it becomes 200 over 1000 kilowatt. And five minutes is five over 60 hours. Then we can find the energy use in terms of kilowatt hour. And because we know it costs 80 cents per unit, so we can just multiply the two numbers together. Then we can find out the cost is used, which is 1.33 cents.